Hi guys, Jamie Bluen here from Bluen Brothers Insulation. Today I've put together a few wall assemblies and I'd like to explain the different installation processes that we have. Bats, bibs, spray foam. So right now we'll be doing a, the bat, the traditional bat insulation. You've got a factory piece cut of insulation that we're installing into a two by six cavity. Some of you builders already know that or homeowners, you know, that the lumber is not exactly true. But of course, we do our best to fit each piece in, in the cavity to fill the, the cavity 100%. So what we have here is a batted wall assembly. With the two by six cavity, we're able to get an R24. Fills the cavity nice and snug in the front. This is your traditional old school batting. I just want to demonstrate the difference. This is our introductory level bat insulation that we'll use in some new homes. Uh, it's not our preferred method. We do have a, a better system the Owens Corning Pro Pink Wall Complete, which you'll see in the next clip. But I, what I'd just like to show you is the back of the wall. And it's really gonna be an eye opener. Typically, you don't have this opportunity to remove the back of the wall to actually see what the outside looks like. So let's just see what kind of system we have. So I'll remove this plywood Again, the whole face of the bad insulation looks, looks great. What you don't see are the imperfections in the batting. Now, if both sides of the wall were open, of course, you can obviously come back and adjust and fix the insulation. So what happens when we have this void back here we're getting heat loss. So we don't, so to compare this R24 insulation, bad insulation, factory cut, put into once live wood, and to have it perfectly fit, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, and you'll, we'll show you the difference in our next clip. Give us a call if you have any projects upcoming or on the go. We'd be more than happy to meet with you.